what's up kevster community i am such a good person i said four words oh my god but yeah happy new year to the community what the community hope you enjoyed watching a glass ball drop and hit the floor if you're bored of that well now i'm here making another video about new year's and this video is going to be about the top 10 things last year that happened in the coaster world that were news related in the coaster world yeah that's what i'm doing i'm going to go back in time last year because i'm a stupid person and want to relive the year last year for some reason i know but that's what i'm doing so don't question me or else I will strike your channel for some reason. So I'm going to count down the top 10 best uh, things and that best, you know, shocking news in the, in the coaster world last year um, that that happened last year. So yeah, pretty complicated, kind of, not really. So to make this video not boring, I'm going to be not having any of my personal things because that that's not fair that's not even related to the video so no like no things of me going to parks and i'm also not going to have any uh coaster openings last year or coasters um construction updates that happened last year only like announcements and stuff because i also find announcements to be better because you it's something new it's not just you know something that already you already know is happening but yeah uh, that's what i'm going to be doing I'm going to be go back last year and look at the great things that happened in the coaster world. So buckle your seatbelt, pull down your vest restraint, and climb up a lift hill into the video. Coming in at the number 10 spot, we have the plans by Empire Adventures Incorporated to reopen Fantasy Island. Now, I might be a little bit biased about this one because Fantasy Island is one of my own parks it is only an hour and 30 minutes away from me but it's still really good to see a park that closed to be hopefully reopened again so if you weren't aware fantasy island was the island of fantasy that really didn't meet fantasy anymore when it unfortunately closed uh, in early 2020 and it seemed like this park was never going to reopen again then all of a sudden Empire Adventures Incorporated, uh, they released plans to reopen the park, and I really want to see this park reopen again. I haven't been there since 2014, so I really don't remember too much. I do have two credits from there, so that's uh, really nice, but don't remember a whole lot, and, you know, it's not really that far from me, so I definitely want to go back. Definitely want to see this park saved. Uh, it was definitely a really good thing in the, the area, so yeah, I really want to go back to this park. Really hope it's saved, and it's really just sad to see parks close in general, so that's why it's going to make the list, but, you know, it's not really a huge park, and it's not, there's still a chance that it might not reopen, so that's why it won't be higher. Coming in at the number nine spot, we have the plans for Universal Studios Beijing being released. Now, we did know about the park before last year, but we have the whole promotional video about the park and everything. And there's going to be seven lands in the park. There's going to be lands where you get to train like a, a panda and fight people with karate. And there's going to be lands where you get to transform into different species of robots and other cool, weird things like that that are IPs that Universal Studios owns. But yeah, it's going to be a huge park. It's going to have lots of theming. And it's going to have a bunch of new coasters. It's going to have a Hulk clone that is themed to Transformers. And it's going to have Vest Restraints. So the Vest Restraint Apocalypse is still going on. And it's going to have a few other uh, coasters as well. But I'm not going to be ranking this higher because we did already know about the park before this a little bit. And I'm not really a big fan of Universal Parks. And it's, it's really far out there uh, as well. I mean, it's in China. I'm probably never going to be able to go here. So... Yeah, but still really cool to see a park as big as this. Uh, you know, we get to see this um, and everything. So, yeah, cool. And it happened last year, so it makes the video. But, yep, 
That's why it's going to be taking the number 9 spot. Coming in at the number 8 spot, we have another new park, but this time coming to Merca. And this is the Lost Island theme park coming to Iowa in 2022. But we got news of it in 2020, so that's why it's going to be making this list. And this park I probably will actually be able to go to, but not for a long time. Because it's, it's far away from me and it's in the middle of nowhere. But yeah, the Iowa Coaster War seems to be really heating up with Adventureland going crazy with all their new coasters. And now we have an entire new park. So yeah, that's amazing when stuff like this happens. And it seems like it's actually going to have some pretty good theming. But the biggest thing about it, obviously, is the coasters because I'm a coaster enthusiast. And they're going to be all relocated coasters. But the one coaster that is going to be the headlining coaster of the park. And it's definitely definitely going to be the best coaster of the park, too. And that's going to be uh, Kanonen. This is an intimate accelerator that operated at uh, Leesburg in Sweden from 2005 to 2016. Thought it was gone forever, and then there's like rumors that it would go to a water park, and it is going to a water park, because this this is a water park that is going to be getting a theme park, pretty much. So yeah, this is going to be um, opening with the park. Looks like a really solid ride. Not really similar to any of the other Intimate Accelerators. It's it's way shorter than them, and it has inversions and airtime moments. Really weird, wacky, and I like those kind of rides. It seems like it actually has is a pretty good ride. It has some like solid airtime inversions, so... Yeah, uh, seems like a really good ride. Glad it's coming to America, and it's going to be weird. You know, I've seen, like, the, the biggest coasters in the world being accelerators, you know, Ka and Dragster and Accelerator and Storm Runner. And then we have this, you know, tiny little 72-foot uh, Intimate Accelerator. That's nothing like the other ones. That's going to be kind of weird and cool. But, yeah, Kenodin coming to America, that's great. And this whole entire park uh, is going to be opening, which is going to be cool as well. Coming in at the number seven spot, we have Big Dipper coming to Luna Park in Sydney, Australia. This is going to be an Intamin Hot Racer, a new model that we'll get to later on this list. But yeah, we're already getting one of these uh, next year, uh, actually this year now, which is cool. We're at the very, very end of the year, so we still have to wait a while, unfortunately. But, you know, some people think it's kind of weird that this coaster isn't quite as good as the RMC Raptors, and I have something to say to you if you're one of those people. Well, you're weird. But, yeah, there's some Taylor Bybees and Complainers and Thrills United people that, you know, they're, they're going to complain about this ride. But if you don't complain about this ride, well, then you're going to like this ride. And it looks like a great ride from to me. It's it's an Intamin. Intamin's amazing, so it automatically makes it a good ride. It has some really good elements, really good pacing it looks like, and it is, you know, not the craziest ride out there or the longest, but it's still a prototype ride. Really nice to see one of these get built and, you know, see where this uh, ride ends up going, uh, this this model, the Hot Racer, so that's going to be really nice. And this ride looks really good. Can't wait to see, what, you know, like what happens to this model and everything. So, yeah, Big Dipper coming to Luna Park, and this really is whole expansion at the park with nine new rides. So yeah, it's pretty big for this pretty small park. So yeah, that's why it is going to be making the list. You just saw one new single rail coaster coming. Well now, for the number six spot, we're going to have three new single rail coasters coming, but this time by the legendary Rocky Mountain construction themselves, the king of airtime, and legend even has it that Alan Shilke got long hair because of the airtime. The airtime pulled the hair out of his head and made it longer because the airtime on the RMC is so insane. And the strongest airtime on RMC is it can actually be experienced on the Raptor. Uh, negative 1.9 Gs on the Raptors, on the Raptor clones. So yeah, and we're going to be getting three RMC Raptors. Uh, we got the uh, we got three RMC Raptors announced in 2020. We got two of the original RMC Raptors coming to... Wildwater West in South Dakota and coming to Silverwood uh, in Idaho, which that one's going to be Stunt Pilot, and it's going to have two extra cars, so the airtime is going to be even crazier. And we also are going to get a Jersey Devil clone coming to Six Flags Magic Mountain, which we saw the blueprints from uh, and a bunch of Hermes filed, and that's going to be going to 
uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain in 2022. So yeah, yes, these rides are clones, but I mean, only, only the complainers complain about that. It, these are still going to be, I mean, these are really good rides. These are some of the best rides on the planet. So shouldn't complain about these. If you complain about these, well, then you aren't a coaster enthusiast because pretty much every coaster is based off another coaster because they actually are based off every other coaster because they are all roller coasters. So yeah, that is your science for the day. You can don't you don't even need to go to school anymore. You can just listen to me. I am such a genius. But speaking of me being a genius, I'm actually not because Coaster Roaster beat me in the Kahoot. And because he beat me in the Kahoot, I'm going to steal one of his video ideas. So guess what? I'm introducing halftime trivia. So yes, I'm going to be asking a question. My question for this video is how many credits do I have? And if you answer this right, you will not get a strike from Coaster Force. So yeah, that is your prize for answering this uh, question. Coming in at the number five spot, we have B&M actually deciding to innovate. We got two new things from B&M in 2020. The first is the B&M Surf Coaster. Now we saw permits and stuff for this before, but now we got even more info. We got the shipment to SeaWorld Orlando, and we got uh, now we know it's going to be a custom launch coaster. So that's really cool. And I've ridden two. Uh, I've ridden both the B&M launch coasters, and they are really good rides. So yeah, I hope B&M actually creates launch coasters. Yeah, they won't be as extreme as the other launch coasters in the market, but still, it's better than what you know B&M does with their forceless dive and hyper coasters right now. And the second thing B&M will be doing is they are going to be they unveiled new stand-up trains. And again, vests have taken over the world again. So congratulations to the vest restraints for taking over the world again. But now the, these B&M stand-up trains they will have vest restraints but they seem a lot more comfortable and the seat is a lot more comfortable so these these won't be nutcrackers anymore so yeah RIP all the all the nutcrackers in the world um yeah goodbye and this the seat will also uh kind of act like a shock absorber too so like it doesn't hurt your feet as much so yeah it seems like it's gonna be much more comfortable and I hope these uh new stand-up coasters start getting built I haven't ridden a stand-up coaster yet. I've seen one, but it was closed. So, yeah, I have bad luck with stand-up coasters. I really want to ride one. I feel like if they're done right, they could be one of the better gimmicks. I think it's definitely cool, but I do really need to ride one. But, yeah, B&M actually innovating, really unpredictable. So, that's why it's as high as it is. And these concepts are cool, too. So, yeah, that's why they're going to be coming in at the number five spot. Coming in at the number four spot, we have Mr. Dino, the ride, the lost coaster himself with all of the construction and the announcement from the park and even the testing it pretty much everything that happened so far with this ride happened last year we did know about it before then but every major thing you know we we learned about the entire layout and everything and that this coaster is going to be an amazing coaster even though some people overhype it just 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 a tad not really that much i mean Really, not too much, I mean, but anyways, still going to be a really good coaster. It's going to have some really good elements. The theming is going to be amazing if you like that. The cars look like they're designed to stop deer, and the elements are going to give some really good force. Classic Intamin stuff, blah, blah, blah. Intamin Blitz coasters are amazing. Intamin is amazing. I love them too much, you know. So, yeah, really amazing ride. Glad to see it, uh, you know, coming you know, per, pro, you know, personally, probably not the best coaster that, uh, you know, we got announced this year, but it is the biggest because it is a custom coaster. It, this is a huge deal, guys. So, yep, yeah, that's why it's going to be coming in at the number four spot. Wood. Steel. GCI. Yeah, that's what we will be saying now because GCI has unveiled their Titan Track which we already saw before, but GCI wanted to make the cranky enthusiasts even more mad and even more cranky by not telling us what it was. We we saw this at Fun Spot in 2019 while the while IAPA was going on, but now they announced it like a year later. And an even better thing, you know, we have this track, but now my home park that never gets anything 
will be getting this track on their worst coaster. Yay. But now I can actually ride Predator again and not be dead. I can be alive, which is cool. I mean, being alive is awesome. So yeah, this track is really good for, you know, just putting on really rough wood coasters like the one in my home park and also making enthusiasts mad again because their, their coaster that the, the Titan track will be put on probably will not be RMC'd. So yeah, the Titan track can get launches and versions. Do all the, you know, the RMC, yeet, yeet, yonker airtime stuff, all those crazy stuff that RMC does. So yeah, GCI, you know, they're a good company. I, I like their coasters, but now they're going to be really competing with some of the best coasters um, if they actually do what, if you know, if we get the full, the real deal with this stuff, with this track. If they, what they say can do, if we get that, then yeah, this, this is going to be amazing. And if we have ground-up coasters with this, this is going to be really good. And, and this GCI will definitely be one of the best manufacturers if they can pull this off um, properly. You know, get some new ground-up coasters with this track and do all crazy stuff with that. That would be amazing. And even just fixing wood coasters with this track, that would definitely be really good as well. So yeah, you know, this track has a lot of potential and everything, so that's why it's going to be coming in at the number three spot. Coming in at the number two spot, we have the four new rides that Intamin unveiled to us this year. And this is a pretty big deal because, you know, Intamin, they're doing new stuff every day. They're amazing. They try new things. And they, you know, they have the most models of any manufacturer. But they unveiled not only one, not only two, not only three, not only five, but four new models, which is in one day, which is really impressive. And now, you know, you can be like, oh, they just copied the other manufacturers. Well, if you want to strike them, then you're Coaster Force. So, you know, pick your poison, I guess. But I don't really care that these are similar. They're very different from the other models still. And they definitely, they have definitely have their own place in the coaster world. Uh, they they look like they could give some pretty good rides. You know, the Hot Racer looks like it could give some pretty good forces, uh, good dueling, and, you know, some pretty good pacing as well. Really good layouts too. And we're actually seeing the first Hot Racer, which I covered before. So that's really nice, and it already shows that these are going to be successful. And the second we have is the Vertical LSM Coaster. Really good, uh, nice-looking, compact launch coaster. And we also have the Giga Splash and the Ultra Splash, which are two uh, nice-looking water coasters. So, yeah, four new concepts all at once from the best manufacturer in the world, Intamin. Obviously, they, that's going to make this list. But there was something so major and so just amazing that, you know, even for me, it topped this list. And it's undoubtedly number one. So what could possibly be four new Intamin concepts? Well, how about a park that closed and a coaster that closed, both reopening together? Yeah, Indiana Beach closed earlier in 2020, and they reopened. And Cumera closed in 2019 because it ran so fast that it literally ran itself apart. But that's reopening. At Indiana Beach, and we thought both these were screwed. We thought they were done, and no, they are reopening. And not only are they re reopening, Chimera is coming to Indiana Beach. I mean, nobody could have predicted this. It is just so unpredictable, and Indiana Beach is the only park that would get, you know, a coaster as crazy as Chimera, and, you know, with as crazy of a history as it had. And I wanted to go to Indiana Beach before this, but now I really want to go to Indiana Beach. They just seem like such an amazing park. They seem like they'll pretty much just do anything, um you know, that we want, or they just seem like such an amazing park. Um, and, you know, now that they're getting this new amazing coaster that, you know, it probably won't be as good as it was uh, at La Feria. They probably will turn the brakes on, but, I mean, any Schwarzkopf is amazing. I've ridden a Schwarzkopf, and it's one of the weaker ones, and I still thought it was absolutely insane. And one of the best Schwarzkopfs, yeah, that's, that's something of its own. So, yeah, you know, this is just crazy news pretty much any year this would top because you know a park reopening is hard enough but then it, it you know complete coaster that you know with that had as bad of a history as Gumera did that reopening to at the park at, at a park that closed uh and you know reopened the, the same year that is that is just crazy it's you know this is very super surprising I was really surprised when I, I heard both of these um and it's just absolutely insane definitely the best thing best coaster news that happened in 2020 
and it made a really, 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 really bad year only really, really bad. So yeah, congrats to Indiana Beach for saving the year a, a tiny bit. But yeah, this is going to be number one, easily number one for me. Just absolutely amazing. It's so amazing that both of these happened. So that is going to be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year. New Year happy. Something like that. Whatever the way you want happy your New Year. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like if you aren't too lazy. Consider subscribing if you want to see more two hour long videos like this and suffer through this pain. And comment below cornball if you want the Indiana Beach Crow to come and pick you up and bring you to Indiana Beach. So now that it's 2021, you guys have all had to deal with my, you know, my two hour long videos and get tortured by my videos for an entire year. So you know, pat yourself on the back, congratulate yourself, because now you have another year of having to deal with my videos. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later before this video gets to be two hours long.